what it do, what it do, what it do. What up? What up? What up? How you doing? Episode guys, two. Episode, episode two. two. I'm excited, guys. Like, can also before we start, right? Uh-huh. Am I the only one who people keep asking who's the ghost lady? Already, people are asking me. Yeah, who's the ghost lady? Yeah, guys, I don't know that. I, Chief, don't compromise me. I don't know. But you can't tell, Moose. That's the whole point. But that's, but that's what I'm saying. I don't know who the ghost lady is. Stop asking me, Chief. I don't know. <laughs> people here, hey, who's ghost lady? Who's it? I don't know, Chief. Hey, don't compromise me. It's like, sorry, my leader. Sorry. <laughs> you sound so mad. <laughs> it's annoying. It's annoying. And also, people are also coming for me on my DMs asking me about Tuli. Emma B. Emma B. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tuli Matu. Tuli Matu. What are they asking? What are they asking? Who's this girl? She's hot. You're wiling. I'm telling you, wiling. Are you blushing or what? But I like it. Yeah, that smile is huge. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Good. I'm good. I'm excited that we're on the second episode. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. You know what I mean? There's a lot to look forward to. A lot to look forward to. I'm I'm extremely excited. Yeah, and things are growing. eh? I'm literally, I'm just loving how everything is just going. I mean, also we're out at uh, Chicano's Mm -hmm. here in Weinberg, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, these things are sexy. Right? We're surrounded by greatness. Literally, every whip in here is just like heavy presence wise yeah. very very heavy yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of heritage too right a mm-hmm. lot of heritage and I, you know I, I i know for a fact that uh, our guest who's coming up a little a bit later jono yeah. he races for vw jo. so he's going to be very happy chilling in front of representation I saw That's a couple good. of old school beamers and I was like, oh, oh. you know me, you know I'm me. I'm going to go there me. again. Actually, can we go back to the video that Anga posted? Yeah. That one when he was on the ah. road. <laughs> that yeah, Mercedes got, one. This guy. I've, I've, I've got a collection of about seven videos of broken down Mercedes Benzes. <laughs> I think road. I want to start a collection of broken down BMW. Oh. Actually, let's Yo, start that. And let's that. see I'm which one will get that. to 100 first. You will really find. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I bet oh. my left testicle on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she tests the mic, by the way. Yeah, testicles, yeah. testicles. I, I, I bet my left testicle on it. There will be rarely any BMWs you find that are broken down. What do down. we do with it if you lose? <laughs> do you take it out? Oh, we cut it out. Oh, we cut it out. We cut it how, out. How, how are you feeling? How are you, you're laughing quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, last night, I was, uh, what no, did no, you do? What did you get up to? I'm not going to lie, guys. You uh, look it pink, was so bruv. Right? Yeah. You're hanging. I know. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm hanging a bit, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. know. But I'm just like, guys, I, I had fun, but I didn't eat. That's the problem. I went out and I didn't eat, and I only had, had like eat. four glasses of gin. Yeah. Did you drive? No, Good. definitely not. No, he <laughs> Uber. You don't drink and drive. Yeah, I don't drink and drive. Yeah. Yeah. That is Always one thing oh. we're probably gonna push throughout the show. Yeah, yeah. don't drink and drive. Yeah. Yeah. Avoid and then, texting and driving, drinking and driving. Just doesn't make be sense. on the safe side of life, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what yeah. do we have today? What can people look forward to? Yeah, we have a very jam-packed lineup today. And I think mm-hmm. I, what I want to start with is the news because I think uh, it's very, very, we need to talk about the latest cars and all yeah. the latest news yep. that's happening yeah. in yep. around the yep. world. And I think I want to start with my favorite car at the moment. Uh-huh. It is the Toyota Yaris GR. Yeah. Ooh, guys. That thing, it does the things of the things of the things. <laughs> and uh, there was a picture actually trending, one at Fushia Motors for 800,000 for Yaris. What? what? Is, is, is that, I mean, is it customized? Is that how it comes? Well, no, it like, actually starts around over 600,000 at the big, that's like, not that's bad. The, like the starting point. What do yeah. you mean? For Yaris, chief, over 600K. But that let me tell you one thing about it. Ne? It's actually um, lighter than a Polo GTI. Okay. And faster than a GTI. Sheesh, we must get those actually on track somewhere. Yeah. We must test it out ourselves. That we thing is a pocket move. rocket. Yeah. Pocket it rocket. Moves, right? Favorite car. Can't wait. That's Can't insane. Wait and then in terms of uh, fuel, <laughs> how is that? Obviously, I mean, it's a fast car. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to do uh, five liters, uh, 100 kilometers, you know? Damn, so I actually, I actually like haven't it. seen one of those on the road. Yeah, because it's, uh-huh, it's still quite new. It's still quite new. It's recently launched. So, yeah, well, the time of shooting this, it was the recently pricing launched. Was the pricing only dropped now, like recently? Yeah, recently. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very, very recent. I think so that's 600,000. Yeah. That's would, you pay, would you spend oh, 600,000 on a Yaris? I mean, I, I for what it's worth, yeah. I mean, the fact that it's a, it's yep. a, great, it's a sports car, you know, that's the... Mm. It, it makes sense. That's why I'm saying pocket-wise, for what it's worth, it, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense for, for Yaris. Yeah. Is it a no for, for me? Yaris. Nah, it's a no for me. <laughs> nah. 
you know, the, actually, the kind of buyer I am yeah. is. Uh, I've gotten over buying cars brand new now. Yeah. Because I realized you could get something that's a demo that's driven for 4,000 kilometers yeah. but is now 350,000 Rand cheaper yeah. Yeah. than the brand yeah. new price. Yeah. So I'm more like economical in my spending and I learned that the hard way. Yeah. So when I think of prices like that, I think of what else is a sports car but that I could get that doesn't yeah. have much mileage that yeah. performs just as good, if not better. You know, I mean, so that's my thinking around it. With that 800,000 yeah. pr- price, you, sure. could, you can get a Golf R. Yo. It's always a, a good to get, GTI. like, proper advising financially well, when it comes to, like, buying a new whip, you know. Yeah. You yeah. have to be very smart about it because, like you're saying, there's no use in getting, like, a brand new car, whereas you can be very wise and get, like, yeah. a demo, yeah. you know. So yeah. Yeah, people no, I'm a, always I'm be wary guy. about that. And, you know, the always initial pricing in buying a new car are crazy. Insane. Crazy insane. Yeah. So yeah, at least you'll be saving on those initial pricing that comes in mm-hmm. when you literally buy a car yeah. from scratch. But we're not saying don't buy cars oh, that please, don't have yeah, a no, zero no, no, kilometer. Yeah, this is just like personal ahead. preference. Yeah, I'm not a preferer because hey, budget in nine. Hey, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> Zamuk saver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to save. You know what I mean? Yeah. And let's talk about the C class. Uh, they dropped yeah. pricing recently. Woo. Um, the C200, C200D. No. Um, literally, mm-hmm. literally starting at around 800. Just over 800,000 rand Mm-mm. for a C200 1.5 liter. It's bogus, man. I and you, you haven't even specced it with the AMG spec yet. Yeah. And like literally by the time you really spec it the way you want to, you're looking at over a million rand for a C200. So this is standard. Yeah, so standard you're looking around yeah. over 800,000. Just oh, to give or take. My goodness, that is. Yeah. I think it's a lot. It's a lot, but honestly, I think I'm, it's a lot. Yeah, it, is I, a, it is a lot. I can bet you now. They already have pre-orders. Of course, definitely. I mean, if you can. Yeah, that's Mercedes-Benz flagship car. The C-Class literally sells like hotcakes. And there's a, it has a crazy loyalty base. So people are probably like, hey, Joe, I don't care. Get me that thing. And have you seen the inside of the car? Does it look nice? You, 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 you. It's like, I can't see man. It looks like a yacht. I can't see man. It looks like you're sitting on a yacht. Yeah, I think like in Dubai. In the previous in the episode, thought. Mercedes-Benz has always outdone, the, outdone themselves in, yeah, in, in terms of interior. In terms of the yeah. interior, the luxury touch, they are yeah. right, 100%. Infotainment and all yeah. of that, I think they're brilliant. And I think yeah. there's also more ambient lighting inside, you know. Mm. That is the new thing with yeah, cars, eh? With mm. a lot of beautiful ambient lighting. And like, literally, the infotainment screen is literally comes over all the way down like this. Yeah. It is gorgeous. And it looks beautiful it's at night, gorgeous. like when the lighting the lights, yeah. Oh. I think I'm not a, oh. still I'm still two ways about the outside of the vehicle. I'm mm-hmm. just like Mm-mm, but I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Yeah, well funny enough uh, people will probably still buy it with whether the outside looks nice or not. I think yeah. it, it also uh, the fan base if you love what you love then you then yeah. you get it. You know what I'm I mean? saying I mean there's always going to be someone that's going to say I can do it. Yeah. I can get it. So why not? So why not? Honestly, if I had the cash I'll literally buy it. Yeah. You see, I'll probably wait for the C63, though. That's exactly what I was getting into. I'll wait for that. Which is probably going to be around the 2 million margin. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, but C63. Also, but also, if you think about it, if you're spending over a million rand for a C-Class, why don't you just buy an A45? True. And have fun. True. Yeah, that's... True. Yeah. You know, and have fun. It's a lot I think fun. that's the whole point of having an A45. I feel like everyone just needs to have an A45 for the sake of having an A45. A45. And you know which one's underrated? The uh-huh. A35. Okay. That thing is amazing. Front wheel drive. Uh-huh. Like literally, I uh, went to the launch of the A35 and we were literally mm. spinning the A35. That thing is a beast, 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 beast. Like literally, because it's front wheel drive, like the it's just tail heavy. happy. It just goes ah, like this. Yeah. Yeah. It goes like this. Yeah. And yeah. if you are like a thrill seeker like me, you're like, ah! <laughs> are you a thrill seeker? Do you like I that am. kind of stuff? I am. So you don't be freaked out? No, 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 no. I've got like a very high adrenaline. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, she loves yeah. F1. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah. a quick one. Uh, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. How do you feel about the, the crash that they had in Silverstone? Max Ossil. Thank you. What? Max Ossil. Max Ossil. No. 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 I feel like you guys are always teaming up. No. Max Dog. I think he has every right to feel the way he feels. But you know what my issue is that? My issue was like, I feel like it's sportsmanship and it was declared, that, that accident was declared. It's, you know what's it's the just thing a race. About, it, it happens. The thing about Formula One, I think the drivers sometimes forget that that's the drama that we kind of need yeah. most of the time in the sport, you know? No. We are, we're... We need Max to win. That's what Excuse we need. Me, Max should wait until Lewis adds it. Wait for Lewis to leave 
like Nico, but, Nico, Nico left because he could see that Lewis is gonna bite him. <laughs> so Max must just wait. He must give Lewis his, you know, but fair you chance. Because once Lewis is out, yeah. he doesn't have much that much competition. Because everyone else is like, yeah, you know. But and you know the thing about Max is that I feel like Max's legendary status in the making. You know what I understand? Yeah. He's and he's literally yeah. going to get there. Yeah. But I feel like he has some sort of qual le Lewis, and I don't understand. You know what I'm? Mean? And he unfollowed him on Instagram. How petty is he? This is what I don't like about Max. The, the, he's the, such a diva. The racist, I, the, the racist comments, the racist posts that yes. were going on after that crash. Yeah. That yeah, just well, like true colors were coming out. Exactly. Honestly, you know. Exactly. So I just feel like, especially in in sports world as an entirety in Jay, racism is like a huge huge deal you yeah. know yeah, so it, it's something that we also kind of need to highlight that guys there's no use man we're we're literally what's wana but Come where on. are we going where's our main lane going it's not going anywhere chill yeah. exactly. chill out exactly. but yeah like like you said Tula, i think um over and above all of this beef and stuff max has got a hell of a future he's yeah. crazy yeah. that kid he's yeah i mean if he's where he's at now with yeah. with greats like hamilton yeah. still racing yeah, yeah. yeah. then uh, i mean he's gonna be alone up there definitely he he's did say in one of his interviews that he he did not expect to be doing what he's doing now he was thinking maybe in the next year or two he'd be you know yeah, but yeah. i feel like by the time because i mean lewis signed for the next three years or two years mm. so by the time that happens by the time lewis decides to leave or even in the next two years we don't know he might even still take championship this year he is might still gosh man yeah. come on oh, excuse wait, me lewis is back on top see the points go hunger games <laughs> aka hungry <laughs> 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 I feel that like race called Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but but again, see the podium, so. yeah. yeah. But all I'm saying is that I'm 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 a huge fan of of Max, honestly. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just I don't like the pettiness and I, I don't like it. Unless after yeah. you be, put a very bad taste in my mouth when you am following. I think it, it's in, it's in the spirit of uh, uh, being competitive and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. You know, I've He's got. A sore loser. I, I mean, within the entertainment industry, I've got my own quals. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay. Jump the tea. Just one, yeah, Jump no. the tea. I, 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 I had followed the nigga. <laughs> he likes Mercs. Oh. oh. I think we it's competitive. It it's a competitive it's nature. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Him. Put the dozen down. Into cam like a little porn up <laughs> photo shoot. Anyway, let's leave it. <coughs> you started that, by the way. <laughs> let's talk about. Let's move on. Let's talk about uh, the alpha. <laughs> Comes to expect in 2021. There's, yes. there's the Alfa Romeo Julia. Yeah, and the Stelvio as well, the SUV, which yeah. is amazing, amazing. Yeah, that, Quite a, that oh. Alfa that Alpha has 375 kilowatts. Yeah. 600 newton meters of torque. Yes. Crazy. Right? That's insane. I'm not sure what the weight is, but it, yeah. it's obviously light. Yeah, yeah. The, now, the reason I'm mentioning that is because I also saw the, um, the, the Aston Martin, Martin uh, Vantage, Vantage, yeah, Vantage yeah. Roadster. The Roadster. The that, top is, top. that is 375 kilowatts. So they're different classes, yeah. mm -hmm. but that's got 680 Newton meters of torque. Yeah. So diff different also also not sure but it, right. it, I think it uh, might definitely be heavier, heavier. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean mm. it's not in the same class so that probably not race them but yeah. it would, it would but be interesting yeah. to yeah. see yeah. that it would be interesting will. to see them because they literally really almost rank the same in, term mm. of, in terms mm. of I mean it's just minute stuff man that literally makes a difference between the two but yeah. I feel like we could literally do the most yeah so those Good. are the cars I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to those yeah those man tell us about the so I had the C3 yes 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 Guys, I love, 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 love. Just hey, a man, quick one. about those spina c but who? He probably Yeah, no, I was. <laughs> no, like, I was like, on, the, on the, the second. I was going, I was going like this. You spin, man. Yeah. yeah. I, was spin. I love spinning. <laughs> I, love spinning. I haven't Such been a spinning but, in my yeah. life, guys. But funny enough, I've never like literally gone for training for spinning, but we spin at um, advanced driving lessons. Yeah, you advanced. Do. Yeah. So I have like pen. Four advanced driving okay. certificates. So, so how's the really C3? Enjoyed. How it's was amazing. it for you? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah. But I think let's go into the video and then when we come back, we'll talk a little bit yeah. more about it. Nice one. Let's right? check it out. Let's go let's check, check out, out the Citroen C3, man. Ha. <sighs> 
So, ever since Citroen left in 2016, they've literally decided or they want a love back to South Africa. So they literally hit us up, they're like, guys, podcast and ride, please test this car for us and tell us what you think. Well, I'm very excited because one thing about Citroen, and it's French, it's Citroen. What they do is that they love design. So that's something that you're gonna see so much in their range. Just literally going to the 16 inch turbine mag wheels. And literally, I love how they've literally added this black glistening paint on the roof to make it look like it has a sunroof. It doesn't have a sunroof, but it looks like it has a sunroof, right? And I think that's what I love so much. Even the white accents that you see on the C pillar as well. Those are the small little things that they've literally put in the car to make sure that we like it. And now we are South Africans. We like creativity. So we'll see what they say. But I'm not rolling alone. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everybody. So are you ready for a ride? I'm ready. Let's go. Hey. All I need is this life of sin. It's me and Toby. <laughs> <laughs> So what are your first impressions of uh, the C3? I love it. I love the whole vibe. I like the fact that from the outside we're really getting the very cute kind of first car. Yeah. You know, look. Um, I think also like for a mommy kind of vibe, you yeah. know. It gives me that whole family kind of comfortable vibe as well. And space. And space. Because I think the headroom for me is, is crazy. That's true. The headroom, the space feels good. It doesn't feel as cramped. And what's yeah. nice about it is that it really gives you an SUV feel because the right height is mm. quite high as well. You know, you don't feel like you're sitting in a very small car, mm. and that's what's quite exciting about it. Mm. And tell me, what do you think of the gadgetry there? And the gadgetry is beautiful. Like we're just talking right now, it gives me that Renault kind of vibe. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, the the look and the feel also just gives us that Renault thing. I mean, we're talking now from they're from the same yeah, the same family, right? The same family. So yeah, it it, it it's look man everyday kind of car. Beautiful, classy, yeah. um, family car. Can definitely. I ask you something funny? Mm -hmm. Look at these air vents. Don't they remind you of the Kitty Grill BMW? Yeah, you know? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> look at right it. here. Yeah, they yeah. do. And they then really you know do. those chrome really look, do. Yeah, silver look on the side. Yeah. That reminds me. One thing I'm not a huge fan of, though, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, is literally the climate control. Okay. It doesn't have buttons. It's digital. I think here, the look here was just really, really, really weird. Yeah. British. yeah. Um, also, just talking on, I mean, the whole gear vibe. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah, no. the gear lever literally it has a, a way. Yeah. It's like, uh -uh. it does this. No, 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 no. Exactly. exactly. And it takes some time getting used to it. And if you're literally in a rush to, to just go from, it's going to be difficult because it's like this, like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like look, they could have they could have kept that very simple kind of yeah. um, you know um, feel to the screen to the to the, to the air conditioning yeah. you know, everything like they could have just kept it simple maybe they want it. look man sophisticated is where it's at yeah. but sometimes keeping it simple makes it better you know simplicity is always key and you know what I love about Citroen as well is that they really created design mm -hmm. design is an important part of it mm -hmm. so they literally like the smallest things I mean. Let me tell you, look at these door handles. Oh, this is nice. Right? They're called luggage door handles. Yeah, they're like because, a hula bag. Hey, I got a hula bag. <laughs> and that's what I yeah. like about it. Yeah. Is that they put so much detailing into it. How the design looks. You know what the aesthetic reminds me of? The inside of a mini cooper. True. Because the mini cooper Actually. literally has like and small the space little, on the inside. Exactly. The mini is also pretty spacious on the exactly. inside. So yeah. So I love that. I love the design and it's very quirky, man. Like they've literally included little colors. I mean, look at the door in the doors inside here. Yeah, look, the colors are, are white and you know, it's literally something that is different. And I, I love you. that about it, you I know? You. And I've, they've really, really, for someone who wants something that is very, very aesthetically pleasing, very urban, very a good feel of a car. Yeah. I think this is a great alternative. You know what I mean? Pocket wise, how are we looking? Look, we're looking at around the two, between 200 and uh, just over 250 to on top of into 300,000, over 300,000 for the, okay. this one is the Shine, right? So okay. this is the top of the range one and mm -hmm. it comes with an automatic. There's another one called the Feel. Mm -hmm. That one comes with um, a manual, manual, you understand? Yeah. So um, literally it's, a, it's within range. And the nice thing about it is that you don't really feel like you're losing out much, even if you get into the Feel. Mm -hmm. But honestly, in 2021, 
who's still buying a car in your menu? <laughs> okay. So true, I true. would really advise if you want to go into um, any car right now, especially if you stay in Johannesburg, get an automatic, mm. automatic gearbox engine. <laughs> the gearbox really yeah, feels good, yeah. and you know you don't feel the sluggishness that I was expecting it to be very very sluggish in terms mm. of takeoff. And the nice thing about this one, this one is a turbo, so Crazy. it has a bit of kick, like literally. <laughs> I love the grip as well. Yeah, can you feel like yeah. literally when you go in, you can feel that it really, really kicks in when yeah. you want. And that's the beauty about the turbo is that it's really, really exciting. Yeah. You know, so I would really, really suggest you literally get in to the automatic, um, the feel, I mean, not the feel, the shine. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Do you feel how it literally kicked in really, literally really nicely? Literally, it does kick in and it is, look, it does not take away any anything from the comfort exactly. I personally I give it a seven. A seven. A seven. I would give it a seven and up. Just based on the, how they've put so much into detail, yeah. I'd probably just give it a seven point five. Seven point five is not oh, bad. Wow. That's good. And you know that's what's so good. cool about that's seventy percent, that's really good. Yeah, and you know, uh the cool thing about you were talking about comfort just quickly. Yeah. Do you know the seats are extra padded for comfort? Oh dope. Right? Yeah, so you feel you, you know you can. Now we got distancing out. Ah, ah, go on. No, 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 no. This is a family show. Yeah. So it's nice. <laughs> this is a family show. Okay. This is a family show. I mean, I'm just saying. How do you make a family? How do you make a family? I mean, how does that family come about? No. Is it a no? But anyway, I mean, you can fill up this car with just these seats. No, Definitely. 75% <laughs> for the Citroen C3. This is love beautiful. It. Love it, um, love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it. takes all the, 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 the boxes. The, the boxes. Yeah. Yes, it does. It does the job. For me, mommy kind of vibe, first car kind of vibe. This yeah. is beautiful. This is it. Pocket wise, it's very friendly it's as well. Very, so very friendly. I love I that. I give it as a thumbs well. up. An entire seventy percent on my end. Nice one. Yeah. So go check it out. If yeah. you are someone who is looking for a mid-sized family mm -hmm. car, or you're starting out in life, and you want something very cosmopolitan, very urban, I think this is one of the best places to go Definitely. with a good price as well. Definitely. Let's so, take this baby for a spin. So you know what, Ned? Yeah. Um, because you remember I said Citroen left South Africa. Oh yeah. In so Bakupule love bag. Yeah. Are you giving them a love bag? They very deserving after this baby. Yeah, very deserving of the love bag. Yeah, no. Nice one. Welcome back, Citroen. Welcome back. Actually, it's Citroen because it's French. Citroen. And then you're in Citroen. Citroen. A nice one, right? Yeah, it was. I'm really, really nice. impressed. I love the handles, you know, those yeah. luggage handles because yeah. there's like luggage handles. But just quick on on the price, it's uh, just budget between 260 for the for the manual and around uh 350, I think, give or take yeah. for the automatic. But other than that, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And you remember to leave an us. Yeah, I really, I really like the fact that it has that first time, you know, first whip kind of vibe. Yeah. I think it also gives a lot of that mommy vibe, car vibe. But you know? also like a trendy person, an a urban trendy, trendy yes. person can yeah. literally get into it. I was it, just yeah. about to say, going into another city, it's, uh, I wouldn't mind driving that around. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Hire yeah. that yeah. and roam around Durban and Cape Town. You know? All I was, I was, know what I would love them to do is to put a bit of uh, more power. Like for example, you know how Mini Cooper can literally can go to a Mini Cooper S, Mini Cooper, oh, yes, and yes, John yes, Cooper yes, works, yes. all of that. I really, really love them to put more power. I mean, they they are in the same family as Renault. So take a young RS Trophy, uh, you know, put it in there, man. Make it move. It's just see. Yeah, it's just see. I like so it. I like you it. You only get that option. Yeah, well, in terms of um, the C3. Yeah. 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 You only get the engine option, the 1.2. Sure. So okay. it's a bit. Give Stop us fine. something new. Give yeah, us, give us a some bit more, more power. Yeah, no, I want power. to. Hey, man, oh, you know, you know, turbo though. Yeah, no, no, no that's, 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 that's pretty decent. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Yeah, is. nice. You know? When are you? You were gonna say? I, I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that you mentioned it's a 1.2, I was like, yo, I remember the Unos used to be 1.1s. 
<laughs> Whoever would have thought that a 1.2 turbo is going to cost 200k? Imagine. Imagine. Times are changing. and cost right. of living is like rising crazy, on another it's level. Crazy, it's crazy, crazy man. It's crazy. Would but you try? What would you do with a, a, a C3? <laughs> guys, guys, I think the power is fine, man. It's, it's a small little package. Yeah. I think it's got a little bit of oomph, or, or shall yeah. I say enough oomph just to yeah. get you going. Uh -huh. um, I mean, you're not going to be beating anybody off the lights, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think as a package as a whole, Great car. And for yeah. the market mm. as well. Mm. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. Oh, guys, this is Jono, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I like, about to listen. Say, oh, yeah. I no, no, no. We, we know these guys, you know, on a personal <laughs> level. So sometimes we forget that yeah. you don't, you know? You know? Yeah, man. <laughs> this is Jonathan Mahoti, and he's a race car driver, right? I am indeed. Yes. I am indeed. But yeah. you know what's funny? You didn't start out as a race. You literally started racing on videos. Right? I, dude, such a long time ago. Gran yeah. Turismo, you're familiar with Gran yeah. Turismo, the video Man. game? Love so it. I grew up on Gran Turismo, right? Yeah. For yeah. Since Gran Turismo one days. Yeah. And, okay. um, you know, I've been playing that all my life. Mm. And, you know, Nissan yeah. had an initiative slash academy. Yeah. yeah. And they wanted to see if they could grab a racer, oh, sorry, a gamer, mm -hmm. and make him into a racing driver. Wow. Yeah. And that was you? Well, no. <laughs> I had to ask. Did you have to apply for that? Or, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what they did is they, they held a competition mm -hmm. um, in the country. And they, so you have to do like a time trial, trial on the game. Um, and then they took like top 100 or whatever. And then that filtered down to like the top 25. Mm -hmm. And then they, they brought us all together at Kai Lami. Then we did like some driving exercises. Then they took eight of us, flew us to Silverstone. Wow. And we competed at Silverstone. What? Wow. Amazing. The Silverstone. You guys wow. We're Formula One races. Yeah, for Wait. sure. To drive real cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we, I mean, we drove. How many, I mean, you can imagine. How many were you guys? It, I, it was mind blowing for us. Sorry. How many? How many were you guys like? So it was so. us and guys from the from the east. So sixteen of us. Oh, mm. right. Sixteen Crazy. of us. Mm. Um, and I mean, we drove carts. We drag raced Nissan oh. Leaf electric cars. What? what? So I mean, that was more like a a, a, a test of reactions, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, we raced GTRs. We raced wow. 370Zs. I mean, it was a mind-blowing experience. Yeah. I didn't win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but at least you were there. The fact yeah, that you were there counts, yeah, yeah. right? 100%, 100%. Yeah. So, so I mean, going from gaming to the real thing. I mean, yeah. were you not nervous? I'm I'm thinking it's it's a completely different ball game. Yeah. Mm to sit in front of your PC and then go out and do the real thing. So how was that transition? So there's a couple of things, right? Um, I think first and foremost, sim race, simulator racing teaches you the basic fundamentals of, you know, car handling, car control, yeah. <coughs> weight transfer and things like that. Yeah. When you transition to the real deal, <laughs> I had to get used to the perception of depth because now I'm not looking at a screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you've got real G-forces coming from your buttocks, oh, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you get like real tingly sensations. Yeah. Um, you know, so for me, I, I, it, I wouldn't say it was particularly difficult, but it did take uh, some getting used to. And I think most importantly is, you know, I was very afraid of like rubbing and scratching the car. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. get away from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And how did you end up with VW? I know now you're with VW, you're, you're racing with them. How did that happen? I know you're probably happy standing in front, sitting in front hey, of one now. We've got some mint rabbits in here. Right, right, yeah. right, yeah. right, right, right. Uh, crazy. <laughs> so, actually, so I got my break after... So, the England thing happened. A year later, I got a small sponsorship to go karting, mm. right? Competitive karting. Mm. Uh, together with a small loan from the bank. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I ran out of money after six months, but it, it was a really good experience and an yeah. eye-opener for me because, you know, go-karting is where, you know, everybody yeah, technically exactly. starts. So at least yeah. I had some experience yeah. in yeah. that. Mm. And then I got my big break when VW had their own driver's search. Oh. So I applied, I entered, and I won. Oh. So I've been racing since, well, I've been racing for VW since 2017. Yeah. Wow, man. Amazing, amazing mm. stuff. That's that crazy. Mm. And I think, you know, uh, especially with our in black culture, we're not like, <laughs> we're not really into like all these different things, you know what I mean? Mm. So when you're with your family and they're like, what do you do? Like, I'm a racer. You're like, how? Like, what? What? How? Yeah, how? Like, what is the perception around like literally our black culture in terms of racing? And how do they respond to what you do? 
So I think let's take a step back. Let's start yeah. with the family, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, first of all, you know, when you're a little kid, hey, Ma, I want to be a racing driver. Uri what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanna be a TV presenter. Nicolo what? what? I got the same thing. I wanna be a musician. What? I want to be an artist. I asked to go, I asked to go um, study music, yeah. and uh. we didn't speak for two weeks because she's like, no, you're wasting my money. Yeah. 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 Because, because you must be, you must be <laughs> an engineer. You must be a teacher. You must be a doctor. Yeah. You must, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. So uh, you know that for me was, yeah, I, I suppose typical. It's like, oh, you wanna now. But um, I tell you what, you know, once I made it through, my grandmother became my biggest supporter. Um, So I've had a lot of support there. So I think, you know, coming back to the rest of our people, I mean, people are very surprised, um, you know, when I tell them what I do and like, what, how, like, how can I get involved? Because, and that's what excites me. People want to get involved. Like, how can I get Mm. there? What do I need to do? Mm. Where are the races happening? You know, how can I come and watch and and et cetera. So trying to advise them as best I can. Wow. That's dope, man. And then, um, I mean, further than this, like, where do you see yourself? I mean, there's so many different levels of racing Mm. with the the main one being Formula One and stuff. Where do you see yourself? Like, where do you want to go? Jeff Bezos was in space, no? Oh, <laughs> yay! Yeah. To the moon, let's sky go. is not the limit; it's just yeah. the view. Yeah, let's go. Nice. No man, my ultimate dream is to represent South Africa at the Lamar 24 Hour. Mm. Wow. That is mm. my mm. ultimate. Mm. Actually, winning the yeah. Lamar 24 yeah. Hour. Yeah. That is my ultimate goal, man. There's something about, you know, the the pressures and and the stress of racing for 24 hours, which is shared amongst three other drivers, the two other drivers. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, I think that's, that's where I'd love to be. And in terms of getting in, how can you advise for anyone who wants to get into racing, especially if you can see that your child likes racing? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's always get racing. Children grace, yeah, guys, racing. You know, how can we literally get in to the yeah. whole sport? So I think first and foremost, you know, it, it would be great to show support. Um, you know, to those that do race. So yeah. I think first and foremost, it'd be great for, for the guys to just make their way to the track yeah. and just support your local drivers, you know. Yeah. Um, you'll be surprised how easily accessible it is. You, you, can, you can approach anybody in the pits and talk to them and guys can advise and all of that. So I think that's the first step. Um, you know, and then secondly, <clears throat> earlier I touched on the, the typical methods of getting into, into racing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, karting is, is the biggest one. Yeah. Uh, because you, you learn a lot of skill, a lot of race craft in karting before moving on to like tin tops and everything else and, and, and everything else. Um, so, you know, karting would be my biggest go to. Yeah. Um, but, you know, every now and then there's always other opportunities like, you know, the driver search. Yeah. Um, I know Toyota have also done something with a gaming. Merck might be involved. There's esports is, is coming up in the rise now as well. So there's, there, I think there will be more opportunities, but, you know, karting is, is probably the and biggest like one. I'd like to see South Africa, like, move into, like, your Formula E's. You know, mm. there's just so many things that are happening in the racing space. So yeah. we'd like to see South Africa also being represented in the broader and bigger spaces in space in racing yeah when are we going karting i want to do i feel, I feel actually, like actually let's do I, I really it let's do, do that. it I think that's so that'll be so I feel like let's do it karting before as well i was yeah. about to say the last thing i did was bumper cars <laughs> I've never been cutting. Like you never I'm, been cutting. I'm so I'm so interested Crazy. in doing yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. We need to go cutting. We should. Yeah, and then maybe you can train us a little bit. We do a whole session. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. yeah on how to literally. I know yeah. all of those. Stuff, and then at the end of the day, there'll be a leaderboard, and this is for bragging rights, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if anyone wants to up on social media, where can they get you? Uh, if guys can catch me up on. Uh, Jonathan Mohotsi Racing. That's on yeah. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. On Facebook. Yeah. Tell us, what is, I know you, you drive for VW, but what, what is your favorite car? You know, I, I'll be honest, I don't like that question. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't I like that question because it's sponsoring impossible. Sponsoring YouTube? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Of that even then, <laughs> even then. It's a difficult question because mm. you, how, do you, how can you only have one, one favorite, favorite car? car. It's, yeah. it's impossible for me to answer. Okay, your if top you were three to go buy a car now, which car would you buy? Okay, have? so we're assuming I'm wealthy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Assuming I'm wealthy. Three cars, you say? Yeah. yeah. Top three. Yeah. First car, Pagani is on the F. Oh, yeah. my God. Yes. yes. Second, I love Pagani. Second car, Mercedes 560 SEC AMG. It's an old school. Yeah. Mm. Old school coupe. Okay. It's an 80s freaking AMG Definitely. beauty. Definitely. And third car, I'd say a Porsche 
Reimagined by Singer. So classic 911. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be That's my right. top three pick. Hmm. There's no nice. the BMW there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hear you. I Listen, if there's any consolation, I drive a BMW as a yeah. personal car. Yeah, good. <laughs> And you, and you know what? If you wanted to drive a Merc, you would have driven one. <laughs> but he didn't. When, why are you getting sour? Um, wait, wait. Just, be, just before we go, um, on that conversation we were having earlier on about Max and Lewis, what do you think of that yes, incident that yes, happened yes, yes. as a racer? Please. Yes, yes. please. Short, short answer. There was a racing incident. Yeah. So. Thank you. It was the a drama racing is necessary. And, 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 and here's the thing, right? It was a very interesting collision. I think, you know, Lewis Hamilton, mm. for the first time since Rosberg, has now got something to lose. That's that's first. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I think Lewis is now maximizing every opportunity he can get. So if there's a gap, he's, he's going to go for it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. From Max's point of view, we know he's he's super talented and probably the most aggressive driver on the grid. Yeah. yeah. So we also know that Max is not one to back out of anything. Exactly. Yeah. So I think Competition it's naturally is that. I look at that collision and I think, okay, Lewis could have given a bit more space on the inside, but, yeah. it's, but it's the first lap, tires are cold, I've got max fuel, yeah. uh, Max could have given more space, yeah. but Max could, max have, could have given more space, he Max could have park, given, guys. Yeah. I guys. Sure, but he was alongside yeah, when they was, started, you know. Max so. could have given a little bit more space though, he really could have. <laughs> but listen, both drivers, I think, are to blame. <laughs> I, I yeah. think you just think I'm beefing with Max, I, literally. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not Max, my thought, I, right? No, 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 I think, I think both of them, they could have done a little bit better on both ends. Yeah. But that's the drama that we kind of need in the game, and you know. Said during the match, like guys, we want to give lend us some drama a little bit yeah. for spectators, you know. Let them like, race. Yeah. Let them Let race. race. Yeah. Let's yeah. see them. Let race, it get so. dirty a little bit. Max yeah. was really upset that they celebrated you. at the end. Yo. You. Christian uh, he Horner was even more so, guys. He, he oh, ended up in Christian hospital. He was a little sour. bit dizzy, but he was yeah. crying. Yeah. Ahmed, yeah. fine. Yeah. Why are you yeah. acting like a diva? <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> thank you so much, Jono. No, man, I really you, appreciate man. for you coming through, man. For sure. Yeah, no, and I'll catch yeah, you guys on the track, yeah? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. We'll definitely organize that. But more than anything, what you to you told me your dream was, man. Go for that, man. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. for that. I, th I think it would be so amazing to have yeah. South, South yeah. African and there represent And God knows we need some representation. We do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I keep pushing, though. We want to see you there. Sure, no, no, more than it. anything, more than me wanting you to get there, I just want to fly there and just get some tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going there. Angali Can you come airplane. along with me? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sure, nice, man. Nice to meet you. All the very best, Doggy. Sure. Yeah, all the man, best. All Thank the you. Best. Best. Shout amazing, out. Right? Shout out. Yeah. Awesome That's show, man. I love the show. Thank you. Episode two? <laughs> Episode, Episode two, 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 dog. Yeah. Awesome. Two of a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> of a thousand. I said, this A little bit more. She says, I'll push. I got cool. Yeah, you want more. You want more. How's this? We'll get him in Episode 200. Yeah. And by then, he'll probably be where he wants to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, a gone guy. we'll see you then. <laughs> I was hoping to come earlier, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Nice talk. Shout out. Easy. We are all rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to add testicles to that, too? Uh, <laughs> guys, we are rolling. Did you not hear that we are rolling? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> guys, don't forget to subscribe, man. Yeah, man. I always forget we're on YouTube. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell. Hit the bell. <laughs> In the words of Cubs of the Small, welcome to the YouTube channel too. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Hi guys, I love Cubs. Yo, hi, Cubs. Hi, excuse me. Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Subscribe and hit the bell icon, podcast yeah. and ride. Yeah. Podcast and ride. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, this is the best car show in the land, right. man. Right. Right. Apparently, Definitely. we're better than another um, car show. Right. I won't mention the name. Spice, spice, spice. Because you can mention the name. Top Gear. Come on. Uh, I, Top Gear was never the same after Bohemian left, guys. Yeah, yeah after the, the, the UK one, no? yeah. moved to the it moved to the States after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's just boring. It's yeah, boring I don't know. Enough. Just puts a little bit more exciting pressure on us yeah. to come, you know, come through with the proper, relevant, and not only just luxurious and fancy, but mm. full on South African, you know, content, yeah. car wise, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, and we, we did say in everything. the previous episode that um, subscribers needed tell us what it is that they want to yeah. see and we'll try and make that happen for yeah. everyone you know what i mean definitely yeah. definitely so yeah 
So yeah. Wow. You, you mentioned taxis, right? Speaking now of the, taxis. Yeah, the taxi industry is quite big, eh? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo what, what do you say? Like for the last uh, five, four years, Tw- they've twenty-five percent increase. In the past in the lo- five in, in, years. No, no, no. In the last 10, 10 to fifteen years. Yeah. 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 It's grown by twenty-five percent. That's what? crazy. And it's not text as well. I get. Mm. Uh, they don't text. Mm-mm. They don't text it. So, it's like churches. <laughs> <laughs> they don't text the church. I mean, no, I mean no, look at Bushi. <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. 10 billion a year, guys. Yeah. That's insane, guys. 10 billion. And that's, that's why people insane. always say that the taxi industry literally could bring the co- economy to its knees. And it that's why I literally, I feel like they also kind of hold the government ransom. Because what are they going to do if, they, if no one is being transported, no one goes to work? I mean, 59% of South Africans use taxis, guys, like on a day-to-day basis. Wow. We're speaking about people that are going to work, about children that are going to school. Yeah. Varsities. Like varsities, you yeah. know. And then that's why you find that it still grows despite all the hikes yeah. in pricing. Yeah. It, like it's still growing because like people are really really dependent on it. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Guys, do you think taxi drivers take taxis to get to work? I mean, they must have a transport. Kilata anga, kilata ntle, kilata tuli, and then we're all going. Yeah. Yeah. So even they count. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do. They do. Random take question. Taxis. I mean, who said that you live close to where you? You go to to drive a taxi. Yeah, I mean you have to. You can't take it home. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst taxi experience you've ever had. Let me tell you, hey, the taxi guys, come on, come at I'm trying to think. So I remember one time here, I am, I'm, dry, um, I'm going to go. Okay, okay, uh-huh. I'm taking a taxi. I'm going to Soweto because I was studying go Soweto campus uh-huh. where I dropped out. But anyway, that's another conversation <laughs> for another day. But literally, we were driving, and driving. Hey, this guy. Literally, I tried to open the door. The door fell off like. Bah. And he blamed you, probably. Ah, he was used to it. He's like, ah, don't worry, I'll put it back, chief. Don't worry. And he just literally put it back. So that was probably the worst experience. Yeah, they know how to And sometimes yeah. where you can literally see the road when you're sitting yeah. on it. <laughs> and it was the very same text. I you could know. literally see the road pass. These things it. are not roadworthy yet. Yeah. We still go in them in confidence. Dude. That's yeah. crazy. And it's not like they're not affording to, you know, to keep fix them. and fix. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. I, why keep should them. I? Well, my, my, my taxi experience... And this is my one of my last ones. Was in 2010, on my way to uh, the Generations auditions. Oh, I went there in a taxi. Yes. Um, fifty six rand from my mom's house to the local taxi rank. 50, uh, Fifteen rand from Birch Acres Mall to Nort, mm-hmm. and then another six rand from Nort to Auckland Park. Crazy. I only had thirteen. Understand. So I walked from home to the local taxi rank. Wasn't a bad walk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I had 13 rand and I got inside the taxi mm. and paid and kept quiet. It's a 15 rand trip. Yeah. And then once all the monies were in, taxi driver. Yeah. <laughs> Without warning, he just pulled over. Quiet. What corner the alarm? And that now montos over. We have to go too bad. Everyone was like, what? Shot the two round, you know. And I was, yeah. I looked around eventually. I saw, you know, <laughs> everyone looked more confident than me. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was like, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> eventually I was like, I was like, he took the 13 bucks, threw it in my face. What? Threw it in my face, said I must get out. Some old lady was like, I'm. Mm. And she paid for me. Went to that audition, got to North, walked to, to SABC. Park. And that from is... From North to, uh, to, North to SABC. Two hours Oakland late Park. from my audition. Sweating. Sweating. Did the audition. <laughs> I, I asked for money from one of the casting directors to go home. And I said, if I get this role, I promise I'll pay you back. Wow. And she gave me that 50 bucks to go home. And so that was my last um, taxi ex- experience. And it was quite an intense one. But it got me my got role. Wow. <laughs> got the gig. Wow. Insane, amazing, eh? Insane. And you know how many stories are on the back of taxi drivers? How many lives have changed? Like yeah. actually what you were saying. That there's so many stories in each and every person in the taxi. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. A taxi driver actually helped me two weeks ago where I realized that I left my card mm. and I don't have any cash. Missed an off-ramp, went straight to the toll gate, checked. I don't have a cent Jeez. in the car. Uh, mm. My friend went out to speak to the lady, and the lady was like, 
can we send you money? She's like, nothing. A taxi driver was like, when's all that lab? It's a short What? 10 rand. I was like, yeah, because money. It wasn't me. It, he helped my friend. Oh, oh, yeah. I was okay. just there in the car because yeah, I didn't want to be that guy that, at the I window mean. there asking for <laughs> to be let through. Imagine the next week you're on, on the newspaper. <laughs> and I was going to. Yeah, be. yeah. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> well, good thing. Good thing I didn't run out of of fuel. Oh yeah. That would have been like embarrassing. Yeah. 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 Speaking crazy. of fuel, yeah, uh, the prices, prices are, are higher than shooting. they've ever been yeah. in this country. Right now, 18, 18 over 18 rand. Dude. Sheesh. Diesel very very high. Um, hey, diesel mean, drivers have all, always yeah, had Yeah, but it's always been better. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I, I dude, I'm just all I'm saying is that it's really expensive and now food mm. is going to go up. Everything's going to go up on the back of the fact that there's a petrol hike. Crazy. Mm. And do you know that despite that, the taxi industry still remains intact? Yeah. Mm. Despite the fuel hikes, the economy yeah. doing not doing yeah. so well, mm. that industry is still, is still yeah. perfect. Awesome. Man. But you know, uh, uh, um, I saw an article, I don't know if it was an article or a post, but Botswana gets fuel from here, from, from here, here. Yeah. but their prices are... How does that work? I, don't know, guys. <laughs> I um, mean, how does that work? Yeah. It's a it's a chat for another platform, <laughs> another day. But you know, most the people in how higher powers in South Africa and relations. That's the dizzy But also, they are they are uh, they are pullers stronger than ours, mm -hmm. so it might play a slight role in it. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. Guys, what yeah. can uh, people expect in, in the future? What can what do you guys think? I'm, uh, I'm actually having such a good the time. The next few episodes are going to yeah. be very exciting, yeah. interesting. We've got amazing content. I feel like as we go, as we grow, you know, <laughs> <laughs> as we grow and as we go, there's going to be so many like exciting things to look forward to. Yeah. I know I'm looking forward to that Lambo. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say supercar coming soon. Right, that's <laughs> oh, going to be really man. exciting. I'm yeah. looking forward to. Uh, drags that we're gonna go to, breakfast yeah. rides that we're gonna go to. Hey, so we're looking forward to taxi rides that we're gonna taxi have. Taxi rides, and actually. Nostalgia. Ne? Big Zulu has a, yeah, Big, big Zulu. Big has Zulu a taxi, ne? Nice and a Cresida. You know the old style Cresida? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Can like you see that ideas are coming up we on the show? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but there's a lot to, to look forward to. We are going to grow. Yeah. And we would love for you guys to, to be on this journey with us. Podcast yeah. and ride. Yeah. Podcast and ride. Be part of it, man. It's a family thing. Yeah. Um, That's a fun. What are you looking forward to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging just a little. <laughs> yeah, he's just hanging. He's, Ew, what is this? But he's anyway, looking forward to a sign. Anyway, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> After this, I'm just like, I <laughs> I'm seeing flames. <laughs> but yeah, actually, I'm I, honestly, I'm just, I love, I'm excited about new cars mm -hmm. and I'm excited about brands coming through as well because there are, there are a lot of brands who want to work with us, guys, because we're popular. What's dropping, what's dropping uh, in the near future? Popular. Um, Look, I'm getting a few mugs. Dope. Mm -hmm. Dope. Mm -hmm. Dope. I think there's a G-Class, G-Wagon in the mix. We're going go to get out, right? You have brother. to be there. Yeah. You, you have to be there when you check it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a no, by the yeah, way. So, yeah, so uh, I know there's a v, V300D mm -hmm. uh, that's in the works as well. I love that V-Class. I'm excited for that. But yeah. there are a lot of other cars, like, for example, Toyota. There's a Peugeot as well. There's so many cars. And what I love about it is that you get to see all the cool consumer content right here. Yeah. And you can decide which car you want. And also, if you want some advice, we'll literally pop us on the comments and tell us, yeah. hey, what do you think about this? Or we'll discuss it on and the next like, podcast. Up, if you have like a really dope ride that you want us to check out, yeah. you know, yeah. we really want to just like get our hands dirty in every kind of ride. Yeah. Everything, hit yeah. us up. We want to like just check out everything that is out there for us to check out. Lovely. Yes, it's been amazing, right? <laughs> Thank you to our riders, our ride or dies. And yeah. of course, big up Ch Ch Chicanos, right? Yeah. yeah. Right here in Weinberg. Come yeah. check them out. They have amazing, amazing, amazing cars. And of course, uh, yeah, classics. And they tune and they do everything here. So come check them out if you want to do some tuning, man. Yeah, great. Definitely. Mm, we'll see nice. you guys on the third episode. Yeah, the second one's been great. And each episode's going to get better and better. Yeah. Always. Thank you for being with us, guys. Be safe. Take care.